I am Kuma. Today, I'm going to show you another strategy that I use in trading binary options. The strategy combines three indicator for better profit. When you learn the strategy, make sure to practice with it on a demo account before trading with real money. Now let's start. Go to indicators, and select this three indicators. Keltner Channel, Stochastic Oscillator, and Zigzag Indicator. Now edit the Keltner Channel Multiplier to 2 and save. That is all the settings you need to do. Set your trade expiry time to 2 minutes, and your candle time to 30 seconds or 1 minute. Scale the chart on the screen to 30 minutes and you are all set up and ready to trade. Now let's place the first trade of the day, it is a put option trade. It is $50 and I want to flip it to $10,000 today. Take note that, the video is playing faster than the actual time I took trading. Now let's figure out how to place profitable trades with this indicator. Like the put option trade in the screen, three conditions are necessary to place any put trade. The three conditions are, 1, the green candles should be above the upper Keltner channel line or almost at the upper Keltner channel line. 2, the stochastic oscillator should be in overbought conditions, with the blue line crossing the yellow line moving downward. It's a successful trade, I will place the next put trade before I explain the third condition necessary to place put trades. Let's place the second put trade here. The third condition necessary is, the zigzag indicator line should be at the top of a green candle above the upper Keltner channel line and the market is reversing or falling. The trade in the screen was entered late, so a perfect example of a put trade is the first put trade that we placed. The strategy with this three combined indicators is really great, but always practice any new strategy on a demo account before using it on your real account. Take note that, these strategy may not have the same result for everyone. If this strategy works well for you, continue to practice with it and your trading skills will be improved greatly. Now let's see how the trade will end. The trade is successful. Next I will place a call trade and explain how to place call trades. Here is a call option trade entry point, as seen in the screen, the stochastic oscillator is in oversold condition, with the blue line crossing the yellow line upward, and red candle is below the lower Keltner channel line, the zigzag indicator line is on a green candle and the market is growing upward. That is how you place call trades, but you can still adjust the entry points to best suit your trading skills. Make sure to watch video till the end, so you can best understand the different entry points for both call and put trades. Before you place any trade, make sure to observe the necessary conditions, there are times the market keep growing above the Keltner channel indicator, and those are really complicated moments in the market. And it make it hard to place trades. When you see those moments consider not placing trades because chances of winning trades at such entry points are low. The trade is successful, plus $300. Let's place a $300 trade here. This is a good call trade entry point, the red candles are below the lower Keltner channel line, and the stochastic oscillator is in oversold condition. The zigzag indicator line is at the bottom of a red candle, and the market is growing up making it a good entry point. The zigzag indicator is used mainly for placing trades in moments where the market is moving in only one direction, or when the candles go above or below the Keltner channel line and continue growing or falling continuously. Like the trade in the screen, you will see that the zigzag indicator line have stop at a red candle, which is indicating a change in the market direction. When that happen you, need to confirm with stochastic oscillator that the blue line is crossing the yellow line growing up, before entering a trade. 
it's another win. Plus $576. This is another call option trade entry point, with this type of entry point, you need to observe the necessary conditions well, since the market was growing up in only one direction before falling. The trade was entered a bit early, but given that the stochastic oscillator is in oversold conditions already, the trade can be successful. The payout of most of the currency pairs in the market are really low that's why I'm trading with some currency in OTC. The current trade that is in the screen, was to be entered now. As the stochastic oscillator blue line is crossing the yellow line and the zigzag line have stop at a green candle, indicating there is a change in market direction. It's absolute profit trade. Plus $1036. Let's place a call option trade at this entry point. Entry points like this one are usually complicated, because the market is just moving along the lower Keltner channel line, but if you do your analysis well you will enter very good profitable trades at such entry points. Like the current trade in the screen now. When trading you need to be disciplined, and following all the necessary conditions required before placing any trade. Because if you have entered a trade, when the stochastic oscillator is still below the yellow line you will likely lose the trade. Look at the movement of the zigzag indicator line, it moves along with the candles, so if it stops at any point in the market, it indicates the market can possibly change directions at that point, but you need to confirm it with stochastic oscillator to be sure. The trade is successful, I like placing trades like this one. Plus $1,800. Let's place a put option trade here. At that point, one condition of placing a put trade is not respected but it's still a good entry point. The one conditions not respected is the stochastic oscillator, it's in overbought condition but not yet moving downward. Placing trades without following the strategy completely is not recommended, because no strategy is perfect but when you follow it completely you increase your chances of placing profitable trades. Let's watch and see how the trade is going to end. The trade is going successful, but placing trades like that is risky. Another win. Here is another call option trade entry point. The market is moving with high volatility but having some small body candles, but that's not a problem if you follow the strategy correctly. Small body candles are usually in the market when the market just opened, or is about to close and switch to OTC, and when many traders are not in the market. The market is having high volatility now and that's good for the trade, when you are trading, avoid low volatility currency pairs because you can easily lose on such pairs. It's another profit trade. Let's enter a trade here, the payout of the currency is 68% which is not bad. The necessary conditions to place call trades are for fill and now let's observe how the trade is going. The volatility in the market now is really good, but you should note that, when there is high volatility, you need to place trades on the right entry points, and if you miss an entry point, wait for the next one. Because if you enter trades late, you may end up losing which that's not good at all. When the zigzag indicator line stops, indicating the change in the market direction, 
you will see that the stochastic oscillator lines are moving upward, which is a good moment for call trades. The trade is absolute profit, let's go for another trade. Here is a perfect put option trade entry point and I'm entering 3 trades. All necessary conditions are fulfilled. I'm entering 3 trades because I want to reach a profit of $10,000 today. Look at the chart. You will see that the market started falling or moving downward but continued going up, to easily sort out such fake market moves, you need to wait for the stochastic oscillator to cross the upper green line moving downward before placing a trade. Again this currency pair is OTC, the payout is 80% which is good, when trading avoid those low payout currencies, binary options is risk so risk your investment for good return or profit. Now we have make good profit. Plus $5,400. Let's place our last two trades here, $2,000 call option trades. When trading, never invest an amount of money you cannot afford to lose, trading binary options carries a high risk so be disciplined when trading, Take your time and practice with a strategy and master it, and don't practice trading with real money. Don't forget to comment your questions and thoughts in the comments section, the link to pocket option and other links are in the description. How is the strategy? Any suggestions or changes that could improve this strategy please write them in the comments section. The final trade is successful, plus $3,400 and we will end here. Let's end here for today. Thanks everyone for watching till the end. I really appreciate that. To everyone who have subscribed the channel I appreciate it, thank you. If you are new to the channel consider subscribing.